The Bob Valenti Auto Mall Late Models are lining up on the track for their 30-lap feature event. The starting lineup is as follows. Starting on the pole, driving the number 20 from Brewster, New York, it's Ray C. Jr. Outside of him from Westport, Connecticut, in the Toyota of Westport Northeast Labor Force sponsored entry, it's the 28, that's Jay Lozniak. Inside row number two, driving the 16 machine, that is Dave Zemke from Guilford. To his right, driving the number five, it is Glenn Colvin. He is from Clinton, Connecticut. Starting fifth, fifth on the field is the number 73. It's Ashaway, Rhode Island's Joe Perry, M&M, Old School, Emory Sand, Nemensky Plumbing are the sponsors. Going off in position number six will be the two. It's Trumbull, Connecticut's Dwayne Knoll. Starting seventh on our field is the 35. It's Bring It On, Bruce Thomas from Grot. Outside of him, it's the Professor, number 42. It's Preston, Connecticut's Jay Stewart. Starting on the inside of row number five, he won the feature event last week. His very first career feature win, it's Plainfield, Connecticut's Tim Jordan. Outside of him, driving the one machine from Farmington, Connecticut, The Rock, 106.9 WCCC, and Expertech Auto Repair sponsor, Scott Garrity. 11th on the field is the number zero. It's Cross Street Properties, the Kitchen and Bath Showroom for Seymour, Connecticut's Vin Esposito. 12th on the field is the number 12. It's Jonathan Avery from Waterford, Niantic River Transmission, and Tom Shea Auto, uh, Auto Body are his sponsors. 13th on the field is the number 77, Quaker Hill, Connecticut's Rich Durante, Par 4, Ben Minuti Oil, and Local 2705 sponsor that machine. 14th on the field, driving the double zero, it's North Brantford, Connecticut's Ernie Bertrand. And scratch on the field, it's the number six from North Windham, Connecticut, Larry Goss. 15 cars, they will go 30 laps. And it's our Bob Valenti Auto Mall Late Models. His protege, bring it on Bruce Thomas. Right now, we're ready to bring it on in our late model feature. Dave Zemke jumps off the starting line. A trampoline move, but it might not be good enough. Ray C. Jr. in car number 20 is holding his own. But Zemke now looks to power his way around the outside of C as they go through turns three and four. Here comes Len Colvin on the inside of C. He looks for that second spot as they go into turn one. An aggressive move on the opening lap by Glenn Colvin. It does not pay off that time, but he has opened up some real estate and he will try to corkscrew through it to move into second. So a good, bold move by Glenn Colvin and this second year driver in the late models has rampaged his way into second. Dwayne Knoll has moved into third. Knoll sits third. Here comes Jay Stewart. He'll run fourth. Bruce Thomas now on the inside of C looks to grab the fifth spot as they come off turn four. A little bump to the back bumper of Colvin administered by Dwayne Doerr. The professor classes in session for car number 42 in fourth. Bruce Thomas is fifth. The best battle on the track is for sixth and seventh. Right now, Joe Perry, with an energy surge, has taken that spot away from Ray C, who started at the pole and has started to backpedal. And the man who's made his opening move pay off, it's the 16 machine. That is Dave Zemke of Guilford. He leads the way. The five of Glenn Colvin runs second. The two of Noel third. And at fourth, it's our points leader, Jay Stewart. And Stewart has some room against Dwayne Noel. He has moved to the doorway. He has moved to the front bumper, and he has moved into third place, Jay Stewart. Jay Stewart to the inside. He has the third spot, and now here comes Bring It On, Bruce Thomas. He looks to make that same underneath move on Noel as they go into turn one, and he'll pull side by side with the two machine. So the handling has dissipated on the two car of Noel. Here comes Thomas as he will tidal wave into fourth place. Joe Perry looking strong in the number six position. And a guy to keep your eye on, the 47 of Tim Jordan and the 6 of Larry Goss. Those two guys finished 1-2 a week ago. Right now they're next to each other again, but way back deeper in the pack. And leading the first eight laps, it's still the 16 of Dave Zemke. Now the challenge is on for the second spot as Jay Stewart makes that pass work on the 5 of Coleman. And here comes Bruce Thomas. He wants the third position. I've checked the asphalt on a, in turn number two. It doesn't have Jay Stewart's name on it, but it might well be Noel in trouble. He goes into the dirt. So in the John Deere country is Dwayne Noel. Let's see if he can get the car back up to speed. It is inert now on the front straightaway, bringing out our first yellow of the night. Nine laps into our late bottle feature. Pizzazz he has on this restart as we get ready to crank it up in our late model division. Zemke and the professor Jay Stewart 
jump their way into turn number one. It is the 16 of Zemke to the inside, and Stewart hangs tough on the outside as they go down the back stretch. Bruce Thomas is a player in car number 35 as he is barreling down the tailpipe of Dave Zemke, who gets loose coming off the corner. Jay Stewart's eyes light up when he sees that. Those two cars are Velcro together as they head down the back stretch. The 42 now inches his way out in front. He has the lead as they go into turn three and come off four. Zemke sits second. Bruce Thomas third and the battle behind him. Here's Scott Garrity in fourth. Stewart able to move to the bottom groove and protect that spot. That is where he likes to run. The best battle is for fourth and fifth. And here is Tim Jordan. Scott Garrity fading back a bit in the number five spot. But what a run for Scott Garrity. Remember last week in his debut, he didn't have very much success. He is much stronger tonight in car number one. And fielding a strong run is our points leader, the 42 of Jay Stewart. He leads the way as they come off turn four. Dave Zemke runs second. Now under siege on that outside line, here comes Bruce Thomas. He wants the second spot. Now remember, Stewart got by Zemke on the outside. Trying the same technique is the battleship. Bruce Thomas as they blur their way around the corner. Zemke still has a spot. They are ganging up on him. Also there is Jordan. Thomas is in the neighborhood. Zemke has his hands full. He has two guys hanging out on his back seat. We are halfway home this time by. Stewart leads the way. The battle for second rages on. Zemke currently holds it, but it is Timmy Jordan and Bruce Thomas all over him as they go down the backstretch. Jordan all over the 16 like anchovies on a pizza. Now he drops back. It is Thomas's turn to challenge. He gets a little high, and that opens up a peak for the 47 of Jordan. So those two guys swapping punches, but nobody has been able to land the knockout punch against Dave Zemke. And then while those three drivers are battling it out, Jay Stewart is in his own galaxy at the front of the field. Stewart has an easy ride up at the front, but now here's Thomas again on the outside of Zemke as they go into turn two and down the backstretch. Can he get a run? He gets a tremendous bite, and they pull even as they're in three. Thomas advantage only short line because here comes Zemke. Now Thomas by about a half a car length has moved into second. Can he keep his adrenaline moving? And the man who has just dive bombed his way into second is Bruce Thomas trying to follow him to the spot is Tim Jordan. So Zemke held tough for as long as he could. A gallant effort by Dave Zemke, but he couldn't make it last forever. And battleship Bruce Thomas has surged into second place. Thomas in second, and now Tim Jordan has made the pass. He drops Zemke to the fourth spot, where Joe Perry now is closed right up on the back bumper of Zemke as they're in turn one. Only a restraining order, it appeared, could slow down Jay Stewart as he leads by almost the entire straightaway over the combination of Thomas and Jordan. It is Zemke third, holding off Joe Perry, who has won a strong race all night long. Larry Goss, he is always his toughest during the final stages of a race. That's where we are now, and that's why Larry Goss has started to pick up the pace. Jay Stewart will come off turn four with just eight laps left in tonight's feature event. It is Bruce Thomas in second. Timmy Jordan runs in third. The battle now between Zemke, Perry, and Goss now for the fourth spot. As Thomas almost needs a Hubble telescope in the front of that car to keep track of Stewart, but that lead is shaved off a bit. Now it could be because Stewart is preserving his car. It could be because Thomas is getting faster. The best battle on the track is for fourth, fifth, and sixth. Larry Goss, we said he would be a factor later on in the race, and here he comes trying to jackknife his way underneath Joe Perry. Zemke holds onto that fourth spot but for, how, for how much longer as Perry now slides up the track. That allows Goss to get a run. He sits in the fifth spot, Perry sixth, with just five laps left. Esposito on the, act, on the access road. He is out of the way, so the zero out of the competition. Jay Stewart trying for his second win of the season. He is the point leader, started the night 10 points ahead of Thomas. Thomas is shadow, but a very distant shadow. In second, he needs a pretty big lasso to rope in Jay Stewart at this time. Thomas runs in the second spot. Timmy Jordan now looks to the inside, tries to get a run on that spot as they go down the backstretch. And battling for fourth and fifth, it is Larry Goss to the outside of Dave Zemke as they're in turn number three. And right on Zemke's back bumper, those two cars come together. Goss and Zemke, that allows Perry to get underneath as Goss is left up in turn number four with just three laps left. 
So we had a three-car battle between the 70. Oh, yeah. We, this was probably a top five car tonight. I, I, I thought I could bring it there. Towards from Vin Esposito as he's out of the action. Nice. And out in the lead is Bruce Thomas. A bomb's eye move. Stewart retaliating. The two drivers handcuffed together. Trouble deeper in the pack. There's turbulence at the front of the field with two laps to go. Stewart climbing back into the lead. Stewart hanging on. It's Bruce Thomas on the outside. Those two cars side by side barrel into turn number one. It is Jay Stewart, though. He gets that advantage as they go down the back stretch. Here comes Timmy Jordan. He's on the inside. But once again, we have bring them down. It is Thomas who gets the early bite on Jay Stewart as they go into turn one. Thomas leads the way. Stewart packed to his back bumper as they go down the back stretch. The battle between Joe Perry on the outside and Timmy Jordan on the inside. Stewart gets into Thomas. He'll slide up the track. That allows Stewart to get that run, and he will take the lead. Timmy Jordan to the inside now of Thomas as they go through turn two, turn one. Down the back stretch. It is Jay Stewart leading the way. Timmy Jordan on the inside for second. Bruce Thomas right there on the outside. But it will be coming off turn number four. Jay Stewart leading the way. And at the line, as Timmy Jordan spins across, it is the 35 of Bruce Thomas finishing in second spot. So once again, our conducting seminar tonight on lap number 30, it is Jay Stewart. Well, Jay has won many exciting races here at the Speed Bowl, but this one has to be at the top of the list. He was a little uh, vulnerable on the restarts tonight, but he really made up for it with one lap to go. Jay Stewart. Well, Jay, what happened on that final lap? Oh, I, those, those cars now got a super clutch, so I can't go on the restart. So I had to do the best I could on the start, and then I got in the corner, and he... he uh, got up a little bit and I got under him and then that was all she wrote. And tonight you just weren't good on the bottom like you usually are. You also made a couple of moves on the top so uh, your car was well suited to take it anywhere you wanted to go. I'll tell you we got a few laps under its belt. The car was really fast and uh, I got to thank uh, the guys uh, Rocky from Arbitel uh, Convenience Stores. Thank you very much. Thanks again. Uh, you've been with me for a couple years. I got Rocket uh, screen printing uh, ENG Auto Machine, Air Gas, Benz Auto, Sanford Plumbing, and uh, of course TK's who did a nice paint job on his baby. And even after all the races you've won, it's still satisfying to get one on the last lap, isn't it? Oh wow, it's great, I'll tell you what. And, and, and all the guys that helped me, I'll tell you, Chris and Matt and Jigs Beatham and uh, all the boys that come down really got me this tonight because we were screwed up today and we really ran good tonight. Okay, that's a story from our late model winner tonight. The driver of car number 42, Jay Stewart.